So here's the veggies I have for the soup, and I have chicken still in the fridge. This is parsley, just some, what is it, stewed potato, stewed tomatoes in little small cuts. And I have these white beans I've had soaking overnight. Um, I have carrots, parsnip, potatoes. This is probably not the best potatoes for boiling, but it's what I have. So these are russet, but you probably want to use a different kind. This is uh, onion and a little bit of pumpkin, I think. I do like to keep the skin on because um, it has like nutrition and stuff in it, or there's like vitamins in the skin. So um, I just wash it really well, and the potatoes as well. Then I have like, this is like all the garlic I have left, so I'm going to use that. And this is my last onion, so I'm going to use that. I'm not going to use this whole thing, maybe like a third of what's in here. So let's chop the vegetables. So I'm just cutting it into little bite-sized pieces. these chicken bags from Metro it's two dollars and forty eight which is like almost the same price you pay for a carton of chicken broth which I think is kind of bullshit and I'm one of those people like I can taste the aftertaste of the carton of the chicken broth that's been sitting in it so I don't like it I like to use fresh ingredients when I can and because this is two seventy eight it makes it really cheap the only problem is there's the little uh, spine bones, like, yeah, they're spine bones of the chicken, so they're very small, and when it, like, kind of falls apart in the soup, when I soak it overnight, um, if you have, like, children or elderly people, they might choke on small parts or, like, little bones. I already added some cold water, so... It doesn't burn while I'm filming this video because cooking and filming, it's like 20% of my brain is distracted. So then I'm just gonna add the chicken. So once it's like cooked through and if you leave it overnight, the meat will fall off. 
So at that point, it's easier if you want to just like take out the spine part and take out the bones before you serve it to people. If you're concerned about small bones and people choking on little things like that, so obviously you don't want that. But honestly, because I'm an adult, I'm cooking for myself and other adults, so it's like it's not a big deal to me because I know who I'm cooking it for. So. and this pot is so big it like stays hot forever so I can't refrigerate it until I leave it for like a few hours um, I already started separating the little bits you can see there that's what the chicken looks like and you can see here these like bigger pieces that have all the bone in them you can take it out and remove all the little tiny bone parts that you don't want to eat um, This part so you can probably remove it honestly I just kind of do that like while I'm eating the soup because I'm only really cooking for myself here but for other people you can do all this stuff
Thank you.